Welcome to Steve's Smokehouse. This is actually episode 66 tomorrow. Uh, as we approach the holiday seasons, uh, every year we try to get together at work and have a kind of a potluck kind of thing where we all bring a dish and uh, share with one another. It's just, it's a it's fun time of year. I love the holidays. This time I'm going to bring a brisket. I've done that before. I bought a really beautiful full packer, 17 and a half pound brisket, USDA Prime from Texas Slabs just a few moments ago. It's going to be an all night cook. I'm not sure yet whether I'm gonna use a pit barrel cooker or our big pit. Either way, I'm gonna monitor carefully tonight and make sure nothing goes wrong. So in a moment, I'll show you this beautiful brisket, USDA Prime, be right back. Every time I get a brisket from Texas Slabs, I'm thinking, man, it can't get any better than this. This flat is huge. And then the point, which this is the nice tender juicy part, is also gigantic. It's, all, it's, it's really as nice as the one we did back in August for our cookout. So I can't wait to put this on either the big pit or the pit barrel. I had in mind I might cut part of this flat off to make chili out of, but it's so thick, I think it'll cook just fine on the big pit. So in a moment, I'm gonna season it up and get it ready for our cook. I just want to give you a shot of it before it goes on the great big pit. I've got salt and pepper on it, and I've got that holy cow meat church on it too. Just a little bit of bowl. I've got some crystal as just a color binder to help the rub stick to it. Other than that, she's ready to go on the big pit. It's about 4.45 on Sunday afternoon. I expect this will take at least 12 hours. So uh, I gotta have some time to get it off and cut it and package it. So. Stay tuned to Steve's Smokehouse. We are right back with you. Here's kind of an early infrared shot of our big pit in, in action there. I've got our meat in there. It's about 58 degrees and the inside of the pit's about 130 something. So I've got two water pans in there. I find I kind of like this infrared, it's kind of interesting. Anyway, I'm gonna close it down and keep on cooking. Yeah, it's looking pretty legit. Awesome. <laughs> These big briskets are fun to cook. Man, this is the biggest brisket I've ever cooked. So, I'll be right back with you. Well, it's winter in Texas. It's the 26th of November, but it's actually like a spring day outside. It's absolutely gorgeous. There's not a cloud in the sky. It's perfect day to cook. Last Sunday, I did a brisket for work and I did it on our big pit. And it took me about 17 hours, I think. It was 17 and a half pounds. It got to 156 degrees about 11.30 Sunday night. And I stayed up with it all night. And I mean all night until about seven o'clock in the morning. I mean, seven and a half hours of stall. It finally started to inch its way up and it got to the point that I wanted to take it off about 190 or so. It was done. Briskets are done when they're done. I mean, they're, they're, they, there's a span of probably there to 210, depending on the cut of meat. This one had really turned to uh, jello-like and it was done. I wrapped it up in butcher paper, put it in foil, took it to work and it came out exactly the way I wanted to. Today, I'm gonna to do it for my friend at work, C-Mail, and I'm going to do it on the pit barrel cooker. When I went to Texas Slabs yesterday, Scott already knew what I wanted. I walked to, right to where the meat locker is and it was sitting right there. It had a USDA Prime point only, 12 and a half pounds, beautiful piece of meat. So I said, that's the one I want, Scott. Okay, we got it here in our kitchen now. In a moment, I'm gonna show it to you. Trying to capture this so it really gives you the uh, a good representation of the size. There's a side view. There's kind of a there's kind of a top view. It's as big as my hand. A lot of this I may remove, but for the most part, this is going to stay on there. This just added flavor. In a pit barrel cooker, it'll come out right. So this is all just nice 
brisket goodness. A lot of this I can take out. This is that hard kind of waxy fat, but we're all done trimming it. Now I'll show it to you. We'll season it up. We're gonna use a little bit of olive oil, pit barrel cooker, beef and game pit rub, and that's about it. I may put some uh, crystal on there. I did that on the one in the big pit, and this is kind of a comparison. Big pit versus pit barrel cooker, but this one may have a little bit of advantage because uh, that other one was 17 and a half pounds, including the flat. I think if this was intact, it'd be probably a 20 or 21 pound brisket easily. This is just the point in, and that's the whole deal. So anyway, c -Mail, getting ready for you. I hope you like it. Stay tuned, I'll be all right back. Okay, Carol, this brisket is ready to go on the pit barrel cooker. This thing was really difficult to trim. I've got all the, it had some really kind of deep fat pockets I wasn't expecting, but I've got it all seasoned up. I've got a little bit of crystal on there. I've got salt and pepper. I've got pit barrel cooker seasoning on there and a little bit of meat church. So in a moment, it's going on the pit barrel cooker and it's almost four o'clock. I'll probably be pulling it off about four o'clock tomorrow morning. So I haven't looked at this brisket for a while. I've been up doing Christmas lights and so forth, but let's look at it. Yep, that's looking pretty good, folks. That's sea mill brisket. <laughs> oh man, that's some good looking stuff. Okay, I'm gonna cover this up and let it keep going. Here is our big pit. I cut the point off just for the uh, sake of comparison. Uh, very juicy. It's it, delicious. I uh, already uh, boxed up the uh, flat part and getting ready to take to work. So anyway, I'll show you the PBC one that I made for C-Mail. Here is our PBC version I made for C-Mail. Uh, they both came out great. The uh, Big Pit obviously is a, quite a bit more work and a bit more time. Uh, the PBC is a lot less labor intensive and I think the results are just as good. So, And I did it in about half the time. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you keep watching Scene Smokehouse and I hope you'll subscribe.